Hey everybody, welcome to my copper plating video. It's a pretty fun one. Make sure you stick around to the end to see how it all went. And like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Anything you do does help the channel. And if you want to win the Zippo, I'm going to be nickel plating and then copper plating. There's going to be videos on it. All you got to do is be a Patreon member. Hey everybody, how you doing? So in today's video, we're going to be I'm going to be showing you how to make a copper solution for copper plating. Uh, I'm not going to be using the vinegar and the salt like for the nickel plating solution. Uh, I was doing some research online and uh, this guy said that this one works really good. He had a video on YouTube. You can go check it out. He does the vinegar solution. He does this version of the solution and he does a muriatic acid solution. And uh, in his test results, this one worked the best for plating. So uh, we'll find out. And if anyone's wondering how my nickel plating went... Uh, this is the 30 odd six shell casing I plated. It turned out really good. Uh, let me find the scratch here I put into it with sandpaper. Where is it? Right there. I took some sandpaper to it to see what would happen and it held up pretty tough. Looks good. And uh, the rest of it though looks uh, looks really nice. It plated really well. I only had it in there for like two or three minutes. I didn't want to waste any of my nickel on this. Uh, I just wanted to see how it would turn out. And it turned out really well, and it was good. So uh, I'm going to be saving that nickel. Uh, actually, here's the solution right here. All filtered out and ready to go. Uh, works really well. But now we're focusing on the copper solution. So what he says to do is put in your baking soda first so the water mixes into it. And he says it's better to use the pure, pure baking soda. A little lumpy. And I don't know how much to put in, but I'm sure that was enough. All right, so now we mix it with some water. It's got to be uh, distilled water, so I'm just using bottled water here. All right, up to where I need her. And we stir her up. Uh, it's, I didn't warm this water up, it's just room temperature, but uh, in the video he says it is better to use room temperature or warmer water because cold water is not very conductive. Uh, warmer water has a higher conductivity. Alright, so that's mixed pretty well. And now I'll just attach my cathode. Uh, I made these copper anode and cathode out of... Uh, copper pipe. I just cut up the middle with some snips and then I uh, opened her up and then I made them the sizes I wanted and then I fold them for this. Uh, it was old tarnished copper. All I did to get rid of that was just some vinegar and salt and a dish scrubby there and uh, it came pretty clean. I know it looks like a Paul shit. I didn't. I just used the vinegar and salt. It came pretty good so pretty impressed with that. I'll probably be using vinegar to clean my copper zippo. All right, so now that that is all in check, we'll take these ingredients out of the way. And then you hook up your negative to the cathode and your positive to the anode. All right, then we turn on our machine and crank up the amperages and we can cook this on high yeah and it's already working it's already working I'll bring you in so you guys can see it is already cooking yeah so this is going to be a good solution uh, it looks like it worked <laughs> and uh, this is gonna be a while so we'll come back to it and like I said, I got the 2 amp 15 volt power supply. It runs at about 1.8 amps though. Uh, in the reviews online, a lot of people commented that too. So I knew what I was expecting. But that's all you need. As you can see, it works just fine. So uh, we'll come back. I'm going to let it go for like an hour and a half. We'll come back, see how it looks. Okay, guys, it's actually only been seven minutes and it's already pretty blue. Uh, it's pretty impressive. So uh, while it's cooking here, I just want to take a few things. I know I've said in the other video, but I just want to make it clear in every video. 
you got to be safe with this, guys. Uh, what that bubble here? Let me zoom in for you. The bubbles you see being created right now are hydrogen bubbles, and uh, they are flammable. So you got to watch out. Don't have open flame near here. Be in a well ventilated room. I have windows on either side of me. I know you can't see them, but I do, and they're open. And make sure you don't have any sparks or anything near here. You just want to be safe. And uh, it's not going to harm you. It's not going to do anything too bad. But you got to watch too because after this, the fluid in here does have like some, some toxicity to it, right? So you don't want to dump this down the drain. Uh, so make sure you're not dumping this stuff down the drain. You're disposing of it properly, guys. And uh, I'm going to let this cook. We're going to see how dark blue it goes. Uh, the, the thicker, the better the solution, the better it is. So we're just going to let it go. And uh, just as a comparison, I'll zoom out, uh, check out the, check out the nickel compared to that, eh? Two different colors. So I guess it won't be, it won't be easy to confuse them because they're clearly different colors. I don't know, just thought that was interesting. Really like the color, really like that. This is very strong nickel compound right here. This is going to be a good solution for plating. And it looks like this is going to be a really good one for copper. So we have successes here, guys. All right, everybody. It has been an hour and a half, and I'm thinking that's good enough. I'm going to pour this into this coffee filter in elastic over a jar. That is how I filter it. I'm going to filter it. I'm going to do a test plate on a wrench, and we'll see how she goes. But until then, let's see what we ended up with here. We'll turn this down. Turn this off. All right. We'll unhook our cathode. Then we will unhook our anode. And oof, yeah. Look at that. Classic cathode. Collecting all the stuff. Let's see how our anode looks. Whoa. Look at that. Barely put it. Well, no, I guess she thinned her out, actually. If anyone can see that. So there's our anode and our cathode. Exactly what exactly should be happening. Uh, I'm going to filter this, and then I'm going to come back, and uh, we're going to see how she works. All right, everyone. So I tried to copper plate the wrench, uh, but it wouldn't really stick to the chrome. That's about as best as it would do. Uh stuck a few places and that was it but i had my suspicions if i put in the old trustworthy nickel plated shell here it would work and it sure did i i dunked it in there this wasn't even very long to be honest maybe two minutes i dunked it in there let's get a little closer there i dunked it in there and it uh it stuck actually really well it didn't stick to the bottom so well but it did like it did copper coat it but it's not as good as the rest. So there we get to see the three colors. We get to see the brass, the nickel in the middle, and then the copper on the end. And this copper is, uh, <laughs> it's on there strong. Like it wouldn't even stick to, it wouldn't even stick to that chrome, but it sticks to the nickel. Like I'm trying to scratch it off. And look, it doesn't even make any scratches. Like, I think it's on there really good. I'm I'm pretty impressed, man. That's a really nice, and I can buff that and I can shine that up and uh, polish that because of how strong that is on there. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this copper plating, uh, and you're not gonna have these lines in between plates too because like I'm gonna have the whole part submerged when I when I plate my good stuff. So this is just because it that's where that's where the water line is. I did I wanted to keep the titanium on. I wanted to keep some brass on. I wanted to keep some copper on just so you could see the three stages of how this goes. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. And this actually works really good. That guy was right. This is this is a really good method. Uh, that copper's on there strong. It's on there a really good finish, like mirror finish. Uh, well, I wouldn't say I guess mirror, but like high polish for sure. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm really, really impressed. All right, guys. So there's lots of cool more videos to come. So uh, stay tuned to the channel and we'll see what's going on. Well, uh, I don't know, I started wiping her and polishing her a little bit, and man, it, it, it just, uh, it just looks way better. I don't know what to say.
I just think that looks really good. I wanted to add that in the video. Uh, I guess you could see in the rim here of the, of the shell, I could probably wipe a little better there. And there's some access stuff that needs to be wiped. But other than that, but like, that is strong. That is strong copper. Uh, let's take a... Let's take a sharp tool to it and see how strong that copper really is. Here, I want to get it good on, on camera. Let's see. Can you see that? I scratch it there like that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty impressive like this this stuff is a uh, this stuff is strong there I just scratched it again now you can see the scratches see right there like uh that copper's on there good like it is not it's not wearing off or anything like that it doesn't come off very easy it is on there very strong and even when I scratched it it didn't even scratch through all the copper I'm pretty impressed with this, guys. This copper plating is pretty strong. Uh, I would have to say this is probably the best way to copper plate is the way this guy said on his channel. Uh, I'm going to have to give him credit on that because that does that does look good. And uh, I really like that three stages of copper you get to see here. I'll do a nice little close-up of the copper plating process, right? Uh, it starts off as brass, goes to the nickel plating. You've seen how that looked at the beginning of the video. And then with the copper plating, that looks really good on there. It applied really well. It's, uh, it really worked. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of great things with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on my Zippo tomorrow and I'm gonna work on an insert. I'm gonna have uh, videos for all that, changing pins on the hinge and the flint wheel and the cam. I'm gonna have to change all those pins to plates, so. I'll have videos for all that too. Uh, stay tuned guys and uh, enjoy the next one.